Uh, hi, um, thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't, please subscribe. Um, incidentally, I'm just saying here and now, you get a chance to win. Yeah, great. I want to pay homage to Hussein at, um, at Royal Media Services, Citizen TV. I have watched him take on awkward interviews, fantastic interviews, and I've watched him literally mentally become exhausted from doing combat with Mike Sonko. And Hussein, you're awesome. I don't know what your medical package looks like. I hope they're going to review it because you actually need to be able to see a shrink at some point and say, what's wrong with these people? And the shrink kind of talks you down and tells you it's going to be okay. And incidentally, should you in the next one month do a Miguna, now that you've done Mike Sonko and a Moses Courier, just, you know what? Take leave. <laughs> because your mind won't be able to take it. But I think for me, this little segment on my YouTube channel goes out to those in the space that Hussein occupies, the fourth estate. A lot of you, a lot of us are lazy. And I'll go back to something Phil Matthews told me when I started in radio years ago. He said, if you ever come off air after a four hour show, a one hour show, a two hour show, and you're not mentally exhausted, then you've done nothing. And it became true over time because if you're doing your job right, and in my case, I don't know what television looks like, I only know radio and I know this, but if you're doing your job right and you're engaged from six in the morning and 10, until 10 in the morning, which was my case, and you are selling M-Pesa and then Nakumat and then Kasuku and then after that a Samsung mobile phone and then after that I don't know which mall has opened. So literally consistently building on the material on something you've been talking about for six days already and making it new. And then after that making sure that the news runs on time and every commercial runs on time and you know about the song that has just played and you're going to tell people that something they can already find on the internet. And then at some point you know you have to find Nyambaneo Jalango or Larry entertaining and funny and you've got to keep up with Linda Nyangweso and Chipkizi decides that he's going to speak in a bit of Kamba and English and Swahili. If you do not come off air exhausted, you have not engaged. You've not plugged in and it's a fact. And you could tell for Hussein he was beat. He might as well have run a marathon. I mean, he was like, that was hard. And that was true. But that shows you that he engages. He got in and like the Matrix, he plugged everything in. He plugged his toes in, his fingers in, his mind, his heart, his lungs, everything plugged into this thing. And then the guy he was in the ring with took him for 20 rounds. And that is the beauty of when a person in the fourth estate does their job right. I love the compliments every time I run into somebody who says, don't you age? I'm like, you don't understand. I don't wake up at four anymore. And I don't spend four hours mentally, completely consumed by every damn thing, including the phone calls that come through. And the phone calls is not just play me a song, I wanna win. Um, can I say hi to Jalango? It's also the random guy who goes, what are you wearing today? <laughs> it's, it's a ridiculous job. But I've always said, because it's such an amazing job, you don't whine about it. You get on with it. And Hussein, thank you. Because died in the blood, people who do the job for the audience and not for their goddamn egos, and all of us can name a few, are missing in the sector. You are setting the bar again, and it's rising. Thank you. If nobody tells you, thank you. Subscribe.